But Kayla Foster Marsh, she is our focus tonight on the Days of Hope Capital Music Fest concert series right here on Rogers. Now let me tell you, this young lady, originally from Scotland, has made her home in Ottawa. She's fantastic. She's got a brand new CD, and we're going to take a look at some of the song selections from that CD tonight right here on Days of Hope.
heard that laugh. So I know who that is. Ah, we're here. These poor guys have got clothes pegs and having to clip their music on and the wind's blowing and they did a great job there with their page turning. It was no easy feat, I can tell you. called Naked in the Water and uh, I think I've had more offers from people to do the video for this song than any other song. It's, it's nothing to do with the fact that they're going to get me naked in the water. They want to go to Loch Lomond and see Nessie or something, you know. Actually, I must tell you, on the album, on the picture there, I froze to death to get that picture. I'm not kidding, it was freezing, but I wasn't naked, not really. 
but I did freeze. Anyway, we're gonna do the song now. To this, do you necessarily think, okay, I'm going to have strings accompanying this, or the piece with the organ in your father's church? Uh, does that somewhere play in the back of your mind? Well, for me, it was a whole new experience. I'd never been in a studio before, right. so I had no idea. It was all those toys that you could play with, and everything for me was just very much at home, playing around on the on the piano myself. Right. So when I got to the studio, I started to hear lots of things, but always, I always was attracted to classical music as well, and. And I, I tend to sort of blast Beethoven around the house a lot and get carried away. So when my producer came to Ottawa uh, to meet with me, he was from Toronto, we sat there and we listened to lots of music and 
drank lots of red wine and mm. listened to Beethoven. Mm. <laughs> and I said, this is the kind of stuff I want to do. And but So we already had that notion in mind, and I wanted to get a string quartet together because it was very, um, very moody and ambient, and I thought it would really lend itself to the mm. piano vocal. Now, the album is really heavily produced in certain areas, and again, that's all conscious. Once we got in there, we heard things like Fallen Angel, mm. and I thought, oh, it'd be marvelous to go back and record that church organ, because it's just sitting there, and it's, it's a wonderful instrument, mm. and nobody gets the chance to hear it. And of course, Greg thought I was mad, but I had to go back to Scotland anyway. Mm. And so I said, well, I'm going, and I'm going to record it. And he said, OK, fine, you do it. If you can pull it off, then we'll use it. Mm. So we recorded it, and I sent him back a tape, and it was just a disaster. And he said, I can't use this. You'll need to hire better engineers and go back and record again. But, so we did, and it worked out really well. And right. um, so things like that, again, they just sort of have their own life, and they just sort of snowball until you get the right effect. Right. Thank you. 
you very much. I'm going to do a song now called Turn to Bits, and on the album there's uh, no piano on this at all. So just to prove that it did start out as a piano version, I'm going to play it. It's a short walk down Cold, lonely staircase Watching for opening I hear all cracks can be deadly And my head's full of wine It's the Days of Hope Capital Music Fest concert series right here on Rogers Community TV. I'm your host, Jeff Mahler. Now, what does hope stand for, you ask yourself? I'm glad you asked. It stands for helping other people everywhere. It's a charitable organization helping people in the Ottawa-Carleton region. Now, if you'd like to know more or volunteer your time, call 613-237-1433, and they'll help you out when you make that call. All right, back now to Michaela Foster Marsh right here on Days of Hope. I'm going to do a song called Time Bomb. So they're asleep. I've got to waken them up now. <laughs> okay. I 
would stay lit but um, I don't think any of them are lit at the moment but anyway we could have had a raffle or something to see what one was going to last but there's none of them oh, okay. mm -hmm. Do we see the consequences of the thrill that's been in our heads we've come to satisfy Twisted view of me and you. I want you, and we've dropped down our defenses, trying to see between the lines of me and you. I want you.
chance that we destroy a little more self for you and me, you and me. Of the thrill that's been in our heads, we've come to satisfy this twisted view of me and you. I want you. I want you. How has it been for you um, moving from Scotland to Canada? Uh, you as a writer, as a person. As an artist, has that has that really changed a lot? Because I noticed um, it was saying you know, you're homesick, and the whole idea oh, yeah. of getting into yeah. writing and recording, and then all of a sudden you, everyone was saying, "No, no, write some more, write some more." Yeah. Was that? Well, it was. There was a lot of homesickness. The immigration. It is hard, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you, I came here alone, and I didn't really know anybody, mm -hmm. and. Um, so it was difficult. Things are uh, the whole culture shock thing, right. and there was a lot of raw emotional energy that I had, and I think it did help a little bit with my writing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the the most propelling thing was after my brother had was killed. Right. Um, that's what sort of propelled me to go to the studio to make the the tape to send home to the family. And after getting the confidence up to go into the studio, they then called me back and said, "Why are you not?" taking this seriously, like why are you just doing this for your family, you should be writing, seriously writing. And um, so they talked me around and spoke to me at length and um, suggested that I enter some songwriting competitions and things like that, and I did, and it snowballed from there. Mm -hmm. So that was a sort of impetus, that started it really. Right. Um, so th those sort of things fed me. I think the grief, you, you know, you grieve the loss of your, your home and then the grief over Frankie. Um, left me kind of raw and able to tap into an area that I might not have been able to tap in before that. Mm. And so after those things, I mean, after Frankie died, I had just wrote, I was all this stuff coming out. Um, and now I wish I could get it back, but I'm st I am still writing. But, but I think that grief is like that. And for me, the therapy was in writing. To the harsh nights of hell In a world so seductive You rose high into spheres And your spiral of destruction You built a prison for your fears And like the moth Draws into the flame I feel drawing Fallen angel You belong in the light And if I could only hold you If I could only show
a song called Obvious. You're all still around, which is really nice. Thank you very much for hanging in there. We won't be too much longer. It's getting kind of obvious though it's more than just the obvious to me and Jill. Well, I thought you knew. And it's getting kind of obvious I was an obvious replacement to you know who. Oh, well, they thought I knew. It's getting kind of obvious I was supposed to fill the hole blown in you But that you never knew There must have been stars in my eyes And you made damn sure There was a dream inside my heart But that was always there So what gives you Right. They say you're gonna try to bring me down Because I've walked away And I won't say I didn't start to care That's what makes you so unfair I won't say I didn't want to believe you We well, you know I still believe I still believe in something
Unplug rings and the news on the radio says Sixteen little children And the teacher shot dead I must be seems to care 
And it's been tearing you inside And there is only And if only Take a listen with your heart Lift the veil behind your mind And let the spirit stir within Let him breathe throughout your life He's been waiting at the door Faintly touching your soul been on your troubled mind like a stranger you somehow know and there is only And it